need to ask for IBC to be reconstituted yesterday. Why is there a delay in recruiting the independent, I mean, commissioners to the Independent Election and Boundaries Commission? The delay in recruitment is compromising the commission's constitutional duties. <laughs> The reason is simple, because of political manipulation, because of political coordination. We cannot have commissioners in place, especially on the question of boundaries review before the last of the deadline. We are waiting to see what a speaker, Honorable Wetangula, will do about this. We are exploring the possibility of either amending section of the constitution kenya finds itself in a critical situation lacking a fully constituted electoral body as the independent electoral and boundaries commission or iebc remains without commissioners this absence raises significant concerns ahead of the 2027 general elections and may impact key decisions on voter registration boundary reviews and reforms for election transparency is it why William Ruto is pushing for extension of elective term to seven years, though Nandi senator? Others are proposing three years, two years, four years, five years, seven years, I'm proposing uh, seven years. And many people forget and fail that this thing I'm mentioning was in NADCO report. I think people don't read the reports. In the NADCO report, they have proposed a similar uh, uh, extension of term limit. My reasoning is very simple. You know, Kenya we have perpetual political mood even as we talk today it is two years into uh, elections but the campaign mood and the uh, politics that is happening across the country you can imagine we're having elections next week let's delve into the details the iebc as mandated by kenya's constitution plays a vital role in overseeing electoral processes ensuring they're transparent free fair and credible However, the commission has been operating without commissioners since the last election cycle, and it remains in a transitional state following the departure of former chairperson Wafula Chebukati and other senior officials. Despite public calls for urgency, political and legal challenges have delayed the process of appointing new commissioners. We made it very clear that uh, both uh, you, Mr. President, Mr. Raila Odinga, the Prime Minister, will have to agree on perhaps, most importantly, on who becomes a chair. If we find a solution to this issue of IBC, it will be, it will be on the way to resolve very many issues in our country. You will remember the last, last elections, the whole world was stunned when we saw an electoral commission that was completely divided, some saying one thing, others saying one thing. You may be happy that, oh, the yesterday's group ruled in my favor. But what example we show the world as a country? That in the process of very important exercise, the commission is divided. Nobody knows whom to believe up to today. It is a shame on us. And we are sure that we have got men and women here in this country who can actually do a better job. And that will help to unify this country. Absence of properly constituted IEBC has left at least seven wards, four constituencies without representation. Banisa constituency remains without an MP after the death of MP Hassan Malim, while Magarini constituency lost its MP through election nullification. Ogunja and Suba constituencies remained vacant after recent cabinet appointments of Opio Wandai and John Mbadi. The lack of commissioners within the IEBC means that crucial preparations for the 2027 elections are stalling. Some of the critical functions that have been affected include the following. One, pending by-elections. We members of Chaguzi note with concern that a number of electoral units have remained unrepresented for a period now because of the absence of members of County Assembly Ward and National Assembly. 
Hii ni jama tu ya kuhakikisha kwamba wamefuruga Kenya. He wants to delay the issue of IBC so that we get as close as possible to the date of elections. This impeachment should not be turned to a campaign for 40 against one. Key electoral activities such as voter education programs, boundary reviews and voter registration are now on hold as these require full oversight by a constituted body. Analysts warn that without commissioners in place, the IEBC may face challenges in managing the high stakes of the upcoming general elections. The leader of government businesses in National Assembly Kimani Ichungwa now lays bare the government plan. Therefore, is one of the issues that uh, we are exploring the possibility of either amending sections of the constitution to allow parliament to extend that particular deadline or having the office of the attorney general seek an advisory opinion from the uh, Supreme Court because we have a unique situation that uh, has never been before. We are actually personalizing our constitution. I look at Ibrahim and say, okay, how do we assuage the, the ego of, of Ibrahim so that he doesn't disturb us? So we talk about creation of the constitution. But it is far from the priorities of a country. It's far from the priorities of a people. Yet Ichungwa's proposal may hit a snag in that a move to amend section 89 of the constitution may be interpreted to mean interfering with functions of an independent commission which is protected by article 255 of the constitution and that may only be amended through a referendum. With the recent push of a seven-year term extension, now it is clear why William Ruto must push for a referendum. The country is on brink of a major constitution crisis that has never happened before. Some critics fear that the government may use the appointment of commissioners to influence the IEBC, questioning the integrity of the electoral body. Others stress the need for a swift, transparent selection process, urging authorities to balance speed with integrity to rebuild confidence in Kenya's democracy. need to ask for IEBC to be reconstituted yesterday. That is the only way that we can be able to recall some of the MPs who supported the finance bill, Yet, the voters told them not to do that. There is no way an MP who is elected by voters can go and present his own personal interest against the will of the people. Mambo ya IEBC, ile kamati ya bayo imetengenezwa ya IEBC, imetengenezwa kulingana na sheria na katiba ya Kenya. Watu wa law society, wanilete mtu wawo. Watu wa dini, wanilete mtu wawo. Watu wa bunge wanilete mtu wao. Public service wanilete mtu wao. Political parties wanilete mtu wao. Mimi kazi nilifanya ni kazi ya katiba na sheria kuhakikisha kwamba mimi na gazette hiyo jopo ambayo itatafuta wale watakao simamia IEBC ya siku za usoni. Mimi sina mtu ambaye nimependekeza kwa sababu katiba ya Kenya haimpi rais nafasi ya kuchagua mtu yeyote. Wale watu wote ambao wamechaguliwa katika hiyo kamati ambayo itachagua IBC ili chaguliwa kulingana na sheria na katiba ya Kenya. Wale wananiambia ni wache kufuata sheria na ni wache kufuata katiba atilifuate mambo yao ya binafsi ile wanataka ambayo haiko katika sheria jameni hiyo sitapana. I'm sorry. We will be promoting impunity in the Republic of Kenya. For those of you who have a problem with obeying the law and obeying the constitution, those of you who think you are above the law, those of you who are used to operating with impunity, I want to tell you, good people, please, Kenya is going to proceed the rule of law, we are all going to be below the constitution, none of us is above the law, none of us is above the constitution. Let us make this easy by making sure that we obey the law. And if anybody has a problem with any part of any legislation or any part of the constitution, please amend that part. Once it is amended, we will all follow.